Welcome again to Military Guna TV. I am your host, Murray Dacus, and thank you very much for joining me today. Now, guys, I want to say good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whichever time span of the day is. Hopefully, you're having a good day, and hopefully that you guys are okay. So today we'll speak about um a reggae boy, over 85, over 85 appearances for the reggae boys with four goals, played a significant amount of position. On the um on the uh, for the reggae boy and um, for the Jamaican national team right back left back center back central midfield and also um as a midfielder but he is <laughs> one of those um veterans the how you call him, or the reggae boy veteran but um his name is Javon Watson and he's actually hoping to stake a claim back into the in the Theodore Whitmore's heart and uh, find himself back into the work of qualifiers. That is what that is his goal. That is his aim. That is what he wants to do at this current time period. So I'm going to jump straight over into the article that was published by Jamaica Observer. I'm going to read his words for you guys. So it's not, not what I am saying. It's what he said. So um, we all know that he's one of the favorites of by Theodore Whitmore. One of Theodore Whitmore's favorite players. But as you guys can see, <laughs> he's putting himself back into position so that he can be identified by Taylor Whitmore for the World Cup qualifiers. Let me get straight into the article. So, Umber Lions midfielder Javon Watson um, dribbles away from the Lions Road. Yeah, um, watch about that. So, Reggae Boy Watson works to regain fitness and he eyes World Cup qualifiers. So, Reggae Boy Javon Watson made his first appearance in the Jamaica Premier League. This season, when he turned turned out for Umberlands in their game against Mullines United at the UWI JFF Captain Horace Borrell um, Center of Excellence at the UE on Saturday. Now, despite giving a solid effort in central midfield in a game during a match in which Umberlands enjoyed a long period of dominance, Watson was unable to prevent the cellar <laughs> the cellar dwells from um, going down to their sixth loss of the season. So they're having a very, very bad season. I, I think most of you guys know who are watching the Premier League. They're not playing good. Watson has not played in the local league in many years, but he's taking the opportunity to work his way back into fitness with the World Cup qualifiers just around the corner. So this is from Watson. This is his word. First of all, I am focusing on getting fit because I am trying to force myself back into the national team. Force. World Cup qualifiers are around the corner. So first and foremost, I am focusing on myself and trying to get Umberland a better spot in the table. That's what Watson said, 37-year-old Javon Watson said. He doesn't expect to play many games in the JPL, but believes that he will be able to gain the necessary fitness to nudge his way back into Theodore Whitmore's team. So, <laughs> so at this point, basically what he's saying right here, the only thing that he needs to get in Theodore Whitmore's team is fitness. That is the only thing that he needs. That, that's what he's saying, people. He only needs that necessary fitness to get in Theodore Whitmore, Whitmore's team. So it, game time doesn't really matter. It does, the amount of games that he plays doesn't really matter, basically. Playing today on Saturday in the league, the running is good, so I know if I play two or, or three more games, I will probably, probably be there. So he will reach the level of fitness that he would want to reach. Watson's decision to play for Umberlands come from two different influencers. Influencers. I'm trying to push myself because thinking about going to a higher up, going to a team higher up the table, I am probably not going to work that hard. At the bottom of the table, I have to push hard enough to bring the guys forward and do what we are supposed to do. So I think the decision, I think the decision is good and they are in Clarendon, where I am right now. So it's good to play for them and the owners of the club. They and my family go way back. So I think the decision was made by itself. What's missed out on recent CONCACAF Gold Cup tournament with the reggae boys going, in, going out in the quarterfinal stage. But he's ready to root his teammates come, the, come what may. I am trying to get back fit. Try to get game ready. This is what Watson is saying. Jamaica have three games next month. I am trying my best to get ready. If I'm not ready, I will be boosting the guys on. If I'm not ready, I can play. I want to go. So if if I'm not if oh if I'm ready, oh if I'm ready, I can play and I want to go. So he's he's saying basically sorry about that. He was he's, he's saying basically that if he's ready, 
he can play and he wants to make that trip. At the end of the day, we have a good team. The Gold Cup is already gone and now we have to focus on the World Cup qualifiers. What seems of the belief that the team is talented enough to qualify for the World Cup and he has asked the country to get behind the reggae boys. Yes, I, I believe that everyone is behind the reggae boys. Despite us arguing, making all different type of noise, but everyone is, is, is behind the team. Once the, 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 the first whistle is, is, is blown. Um, in the Gold Cup, when we won the first two games and when we lost against the USA, everybody was trying to push down the players. I don't think that's the right thing to do. So you have to be mindful now what's that. We are fans. We have, like, like we, we have what, two, say three roles. To cheer on the team, to be positive, and also we have a role to be negative, because we, the, the negative aspect of it is this: we demand a lot, we expect a lot. Can you imagine all the fans that paid so much money to go and watch those games, follow the team right across the world, and don't get the result? And you're telling that they should not be upset? Come on, come on! You, you that, that, that that's unreal. That's unreal. That is a part of us being fans. Yes, we cheer on the team when they are doing good. But in the same sense, when things are not going good, we express our disregard to everything, everything about the team. Yes, we, we, we're going to bash players. We're going to bash the team. We're going to bash the coach. We're going to bash everything because that is what we do as fans. That is what we do because at the end of the day, before the whistles blew, we are supporting the team 100%. And it's that roller coaster. So it doesn't matter what you want to say. It doesn't matter what any reggae boy player wants to say about bashing players. We are fans. That is a part of us. We are fans. We 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 we, we spend the time. No, listen, listen. This is what some of them don't. Some, some of the guys don't understand. When the game was playing in Japan, um, at two thirty in the morning, the fans were up, waking up out of their bed, two thirty in the morning to watch you guys lose. And you're telling us to, to not be disgruntled. Some of us has work in the morning. Game finished four o'clock and work starts six o'clock. And you're telling us that we should we, we should just be okay. And, no, no, that is that that's. That, <laughs> I'm sorry to say. I'm sorry to say. Maybe I might come off a bit negative, but that's not how football is. That's not how fandom is. We are fans. That is what we do. That's a part of what we do. You give us good results, and we cheer on twenty four seven. Once you give us bad results, you will get it. <laughs> you're gonna get it. Not all the time though. We understand. We understand situation, but bear in mind that we are also fans, and you should bear in mind that some of the times we go out of the way to make ourselves available to watch those games. And when you don't, uh, I know guys who are actually on the honeymoon, and in the night of the game they are watching the game. So you have to be mindful of those things as players. In the same sense, yes, we understand that you guys are players. Yes, we understand that you guys have feelings. But in the same sense, we have feelings, and when you lose. We are hurting. It's just a part of it. So six losses from seven games and just three points on the board means that Umberlands are likely to miss out on playoff football with just their three regular seasons. So people, that is the story. <laughs> that is the story. That is the story. Javon Watson is in contention to find himself back into the reggae boy team. That's what he's working on. Um, <laughs> that is what he says he's going to do. So let's see how this one goes. Um, but in the same sense, people, what do you think about this? Do you think that if he gets fit, he will definitely be selected? Do you believe that Javon Watson will make himself back into this regular boy team at age 37? And he said, it, he said it. The only thing that he needs to do is get fit. And he's back in the team. So what does that mean? What is that saying about the coach? Remember, you know, Paul Hall said, said you know, that <laughs> he's not taking players off name. You know, it's, just, it's, it's, it's actually off um, performances. So we'll see how that one goes. But in the same sense, I do believe that um, every player has a chance. We cannot write off any player. Every single player has a chance. Once you're performing at that optimum level that we need and we're expecting good things from any player that comes into the team. But for this one, I'm going to take a sip. Theodore Whitmore's first son is back into the limelight. And he knows that his father is at the helm. <laughs> he knows that his father is at the helm of the reggae boy. So let's see how this one goes. But reggae boy Javon Watson, back at it, wants to make himself available, wants to make himself in the World Cup qualifier squad. Let's see what um, this one goes. People, remember, smash the like button and tell me what you think about it. Do you believe that he will make it? 
Do you guys believe that you'll make it? Put it in the comment section, people. And guess what, people? Have a very, very good day. Peace out. 